Are you curious about tractors but feel overwhelmed by the complexities? Don't worry, we've got you covered. In this video, we'll answer the top 9 questions about tractors in a way that everyone can understand. 1. Which tractor has the highest horsepower? Technically, the crown for the world's most powerful tractor rests upon the Big Bud 747, also known as the 16V747 Big Bud, delivering a staggering 1100 horsepower. However, this mammoth machine is a bespoke creation, not commercially available. Among mass-produced tractors, the Meritractor MT700 reigns supreme, with a robust 768 horsepower. Typically employed by specialist firms for arduous off-road tasks like tree logging or road construction, it's a rare sight on conventional farms. 2. How do tractor hydraulics operate? Tractor hydraulics function akin to any hydraulic system, grounded on the principle that liquids are incompressible. Contrary to gases which compress under pressure, liquids transmit force linearly. A hydraulic cylinder encloses a specialized oil, fortified with additives to resist foaming and breakdown. Powered by a pump or series of pumps, this oil generates system pressure. Valves under the driver's control regulate oil flow to various hydraulic rams, orchestrating their movements, whether extending or retracting, to affect desired tasks, like operating loaders or backhoes. 3. Are tractor tires typically tubeless? While both tubeless and tube tires coexist in the tractor realm, tubeless variants are increasingly prevalent. Equipped with an interior rubber lining, they mitigate air loss in case of punctures. In contrast, tube tires reliant on separate inner tubes render the tractor immobilized if punctured beyond repair. Both types support repair, provided damages are within limits. Tubeless tires can often be repaired with a patch or sealant applied to the interior lining, while tube tires may require the replacement of the inner tube if damaged. However, tubeless tires generally offer greater convenience in terms of repair, as they eliminate the need to disassemble and replace an inner tube. Additionally, the absence of a tube reduces the risk of failure at the tube tire interface, which can occur due to factors such as improper installation or wear over time. Overall, the choice between tubeless and tube tires often depends on factors such as application, terrain, and personal preference. 4. Why do some tractor owners opt for water-filled tires? Some tractor owners opt for water-filled tires for several reasons, each contributing to enhanced performance and efficiency in agricultural and industrial operations. Water-filled tires lower the tractor's center of gravity, enhancing stability on uneven terrain and slopes. The added weight also improves traction, reducing slippage in challenging conditions like mud or snow. Also, water-filled tires offset imbalance caused by front-end loaders, preventing the tractor from tipping forward during lifting operations. By distributing weight evenly, water-filled tires minimize soil compaction, preserving soil structure and fertility in agricultural settings. We made an entire video about this, so click the video in the link to see a detailed video about this topic. 5. Why do tractors typically feature smaller front tires? Smaller front tires provide tractors with better agility and maneuverability, allowing them to navigate through tight spaces and around obstacles with ease. These tires help distribute the weight of the tractor more evenly between the front and rear axles, improving stability and traction especially when pulling heavy loads or operating on uneven terrain. By exerting less pressure on the ground, smaller front tires help minimize soil compaction, preserving soil fertility and promoting healthy crop growth in agricultural fields. Smaller tires are more cost-effective to manufacture and replace, contributing to overall operational savings and improved fuel efficiency. They offer better clearance for front-mounted attachments or implements, ensuring easier maneuverability without interference. Smaller front tires contribute to a proportional and visually appealing design, enhancing the overall aesthetics of the tractor. Smaller front tires on tractors aren't just a design choice, they play a crucial role in enhancing performance, efficiency, and soil health. 6. Are tractor attachments universally compatible? Predominantly, tractor attachments adhere to standardized hitching mechanisms, exemplified by the ubiquitous three-point hitch. Yet, nuances exist, primarily concerning size classes, ranging from 0 to 3, dictated by tractor dimensions. Prospective buyers must ensure compatibility, accounting for tractor power and weight, 
as inadequate power may jeopardize attachment functionality. 7. What voltage do tractor batteries typically employ? Tractor batteries typically employ a voltage of 12 volts. This voltage is standard across most agricultural machinery, including tractors, due to compatibility with various electrical components and systems commonly found in these vehicles. The 12 volt battery provides sufficient power to start the engine, operate lighting, accessories, and other electrical systems on the tractor. While there may be exceptions in certain specialized or larger machinery, such as some industrial or heavy-duty tractors, the majority of tractors utilize 12-volt batteries for their electrical needs. 8. Why are tractor exhausts oriented upwards? Tractor exhausts are often oriented upwards for several reasons. Firstly, this positioning prevents the exhaust system from coming into contact with the ground, which is crucial for navigating the uneven terrain typically found in agricultural environments. By keeping the exhaust elevated, the risk of damage from rocks, debris, or uneven surfaces is reduced, leading to fewer maintenance issues and longer component lifespan. Additionally, having the exhaust outlet near the top of the tractor's frame streamlines maintenance tasks. Technicians can access the exhaust system more easily for inspection, repairs, or routine servicing without having to crawl underneath the vehicle. While this proximity may result in slightly heightened noise levels around the operator's cabin, the practical benefits of easier maintenance outweigh this inconvenience, especially considering the utilitarian nature of tractors. Moreover, directing exhaust emissions upwards minimizes the risk of respiratory hazards for operators and farm laborers. By dispersing emissions away from ground level, where individuals may be working, the likelihood of inhaling harmful gases is reduced. This not only promotes a safer working environment, but also helps minimize the risk of crop contamination from exhaust pollutants settling on plants or soil. 9. How many tractor brands exist? According to TractorData.com, there have been 268 tractor brands, though not all are active participants in contemporary tractor production. Tractors are produced by numerous manufacturers worldwide ranging from large multinational corporations to smaller regional or specialized producers. Some of the well-known tractor manufacturers include John Deere, Case IH, New Holland, Massey Ferguson, Kubota, Mahindra, Klaas, Fendt, Deutzfahr, and McCormick, among others. Beyond these major brands, there are also smaller manufacturers that cater to niche markets or specific agricultural needs. Additionally, some brands may be more prominent in certain regions or countries than others, reflecting local preferences, market dynamics, and regulatory requirements. So, there you have it. We've tackled the top 9 questions about tractors, making them accessible to everyone. Whether you're a seasoned farmer or just starting to explore the world of agriculture, we hope this video has provided valuable insights into the workings of these essential machines. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with anyone else who might find it useful. Thanks for watching, and happy farming!